COP28 president is defending himself after an interview emerged where he said this. There is no science out there or no scenario out there that says that the phase out of fossil fuel is what's going to achieve 1.5. To be clear, pretty much every major climate report that's come out in the last few years has found the best ways to reduce emissions and avoid the worst impacts of climate change is to phase out fossil fuels. And scenarios that are in line with the Paris Agreement targets require a deep reduction in the use of fossil fuels immediately. After being asked about the statement, Al Jaber clarified his stance by saying, One statement taken out of context with misrepresentation and misinterpretation that gets maximum coverage that everything this presidency has been working on, continues to work on, is focused on and centered around the science. Since his appointment, Sultan Al Jaber has insisted that he'd be able to keep his gassy interests at bay, even though his day job is executive of UAE's largest oil company. This is the first time that a CEO, let alone one from the fossil fuel industry, has been appointed COP president, while a record number of fossil fuel lobbyists are believed to be in attendance in Dubai. And this is just the latest in a series of controversies that have plagued the conference since it was announced it would be held in the oil-rich United Arab Emirates, who is reportedly using COP28 to make new oil and gas deals around the world. According to new leaked documents obtained by the Center for Climate Reporting and the BBC. These allegations are false, not true, incorrect, and not accurate. And it's an attempt, the work, to undermine of the COP28 presidency. But a lot of people aren't buying what he's selling including former Vice President Al Gore, who accused the UAE and the fossil fuel industry of taking over the event. They have captured uh, the COP process itself now. It's an abuse uh, of the public's right to have confidence in the, the processes by which the decisions about humanity's future are made. Gore made those comments moments after using his COP speech time to present data showing the UAE's greenhouse gas emissions rose 7.5% between 2021 and 2022, compared to the 1.5% rise globally. The main thing that needs to be done is to phase out oil and gas. If they don't do that, it's a failure. If they do it, it's going to be a surprising success. And with a lot of days left and even more negotiations to be had, will anything be done? That remains to be seen.